All right, so today I want to talk about two fairly new array methods. One of them that has been around for a couple of years. It's widely available within all the browsers and Node.js. The other one is just recently available, so newly available with Node and across the major browsers. The methods are with and copy with, copy within, sorry. And if we jump in here to look at uh, the MDN documentation talking about the two of them, copy within is the one that is widely available. So baseline across the major browsers, everybody supports this with array with the newly available, available across all the browsers. And for Node, if you're ever wanting to look up and see if Node supports something, the website node.green is where you should go. You can do a search on the page for the specific thing. So for example, array.prototype.with, that is the method that we're talking about. And yes, that's been supported since version 20.11. So we have all these methods. Now, what do they do and what are the differences between them? I'm going to start with a simple array. I've got a few strings inside of an array. And we're going to talk about with, first of all. So names is my array, and I can call the with method. What it's going to do, sorry, not copy within, with. So it's still, <laughs> still not supported in VS Code, doesn't come up with the code complete until you've typed it the first time, then it will show up after that. But for now, what we're trying to do here is we want to copy something into an array. So here we have this array. And at position index, so that's what we put in here as the first one. So replacing index number one, what do we want to put inside there? We'll say Gale. There we go. So I'm putting this new string is going to replace the item at index number one right here. Okay, so fine. Looks like I'm changing the array. Now, if I run this, I want to take a look at what is going to appear there. So console.log names. Let's take a look and see what's inside of there. And main.js is our file. There we go. Now, here in position one, we don't see this new value. And that is one of the key things about this new method with. It's going to create a new array. So it's copying. It's doing a shallow copy of the whole array creating a brand new array for you. And that's the return value. So if I come in here and I say const new names equals, then we can log that out as well. So new names, save, and we will run it again. And there we go. So the original array has not been changed. It is creating a brand new array with some value that has been changed. So while this is very much like doing something like this, names position one equals Gale, we're not changing the original array. So it's a non-destructive method. It creates a new array instance with the updated values. So very important to remember that. These two things, while they have the same values, they are not the same thing. So if I compare them, names and new names, that should be two or three equals, either one. So comparing the value, comparing the fact that they are the same object, if we run it again, both come back with false. It is not the same value because it is two different places in memory that these arrays are saved. They're two different objects. So whether you're saying compare the value, it's going to say, I've got an array over here, an array over here. They're not the same value. They can't be the same value because they are in different places. With three, they are not the same object. They are in two different places in memory. All right, so that is with. We're creating a brand new array. So we're copying the value. Array copy within, similar idea. We're going to be changing the array, but we are actually changing the original one. We're not creating a brand new one. So let's say const copy sorry, changed equals, yeah, we'll do that, uh, names dot copy within. And the values that we've got here, target, so this is the position, it's like the index, where we're going to be placing the value that we want to put in there. So if I say, again, position one, 
that's where I'm placing the new values. And the other two values start in the optional end parameter, starting here at some index number, going up to the end or capping it at whatever end value we have here. So I'm going to say from position two to the very end. And if I console.log names, there we go. So Bob, Jean, Linda, Teddy, Teddy. So what we did was copy into position one. So that's right here. Into position one, or starting at position one, we're going to copy from position two to the end of the array. So zero, one, two, two, three, four. That's the end of the array. We didn't provide an ending value, so it goes all the way to the end. These three values are then copied over to here, starting at position one. So Gene becomes here, Linda fills in this spot, Teddy fills in this spot, and that's the end of the array, so nothing else gets copied, so we're left with Teddy again. And that's why we have Teddy twice. Those final three values got copied over into position one. You're never going to be changing the length of the array, you're just moving things around in the array, so you can overwrite different values. We're copying within the array. If I do provide an ending value, so I say, okay, position two comma three, what I'm saying is starting at position two and up to but not including number three. I'm going to copy that here. So if I do that, this time I'm going to get Bob, Gene, Gene, Linda, Teddy. So let's save it and run it again. Clear and run. There we go. Bob, Gene, Gene, Linda, Teddy. So we're copying stuff over to a new position. And we are actually, we can see here, changing the original array. So changed and names are now two pointers to the same object. If we compare them, are they the same object? We can do this and we'll clear and run again. True, right here at the very end. Names and changed are both pointing to the same array. It is the original array that we're changing. We're not creating a new copy. And that's it. Those are the two methods with and copy within. So hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.